We're now at the bridge over the Tarcules River. This is the river of the crocodiles, the one that I talk about in the story of the ghost of Punta Mala. And here are the crocodiles that catch the bags and send them down to the ocean. Now we're gonna take a quick look at, at the crocodiles. We are at the entrance to the Punta Mala Playa Hermosa Wildlife Refuge. This is a typical sign that you will find at most uh, national parks and refuges in Costa Rica with like basic information about where it is, what part of a country it belongs to, and stuff like that. Here we can see the park ranger's house and on this side we can see the beach. It's a very long straight beach, very good for surfing by the way. Uh, which includes uh, Playa Hermosa and Punta Mala. Hello friends, we are at the Punta Mala and Playa Hermosa Wildlife Refuge. This is a place where the story started for the turtles and led to the, to the story that I wrote, the, the ghost of Punta Mala. We came here to record the song, hope, hope it comes out right. Uh, very difficult to record here at the beach but we're, we're gonna give it the best shot and I hope you like it. Turtle in a fishing well Trapped in a cage All things that never seen Her sisters try to help her Without any scissors They could not cut much thought Hello friends! It's a beautiful sunset here in Punta Mala and I was ready to enjoy it. I had already changed after we recorded the song. But I just wanted to show you a, a couple more things. And one of them is this beautiful thing that happens here in the refuge. This is a turtle nest. And these are the shells that the baby turtles left after they, they got out of the, of the shells and made their way down there to the sea. Hopefully many of these survived. The numbers that I know is that only like one out of every hundred babies make it to becoming an adult. And that's why this big place that we have here where, where we can find lots of these nests is so important for the turtles and for the world. Another thing that is not so nice, but we also need to talk about it. And it, it's something we talk about in the story in the, the Ghost of Punta Mala is the garbage. Of course, this one I had already collected because I was doing the same thing in Spanish and I wasn't just going to throw it away to pick it up. So this is uh, plastics mostly that we found around a relatively small area as I was telling the story in Spanish. A lot of this trash, it just gets washed down from the city into the river. There's a very big, well, a river, big for Costa Rica, uh, a river called uh, the Grande de Tarcules, which washes down from the Central Valley and uh, comes out to the ocean not far from here. And a lot of the trash gets like just, you know, carried all the way out to the ocean. And a lot of it we find it here in the beach. Some of it is already turning into microplastics. And, and as I was telling you, we, we can find more without going very far. I can see some more here. Of course, I'm gonna pick it up and take it away now. Now that I have a chance. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to write the story of the ghost of Punta Mala. Will all the love in the world be enough? Look all the love. All the love in the 